Years ago, I, I was in the uh, food and beverage industry and realized that the biggest problem we had in that industry was there wasn't enough training. People were making mistakes and doing things improperly just because they hadn't been trained properly. And when I identified the issue as the supervisor, they said, oh, great. You're the new trainer. Mostly what I do now is more on the leadership styles. So teaching people the difference between managing and leading. Um, there's two totally different concepts. And one of the things that I like about being able to offer classes is that we do a lot of self-evaluating and we look at some of the things that we do wrong and we talk about it and think of what we can do differently. So each week that we have a class together, they have to make a commitment of one thing that they're gonna improve on. I don't want people to feel like they're under a lot of pressure because they, people don't learn when they're under a lot of pressure. And I always tell them right from the start that they will probably learn more from each other than they will from me in the class. And I do that on purpose because everybody in the class brings wealth to each other. To see that spark of when you know you've gotten something across to them or they've discovered something themselves, that is just energizing to me. Um, my, I guess my passion, my goal in life is to try and touch as many lives as possible and try and let everybody know that they aren't, they have not reached their potential yet. You know, don't, don't get complacent, keep pushing yourself and keep learning. And, and to see them get excited about that is what gets me excited. Mm -hmm.